Hello everyone, I'm here with Hannah Lynch Page and she is the creator of the um, Zagreb International Heart Festival. So I thought I would sit down and, and talk to her a little bit about this festival because it's, it's only three years old. Um, and to me that's very inspiring that you just you did this, you created this. Um, so maybe start a little bit, of course you're a harpist as well, and uh, what was it like learning the harp here in Croatia? Well, uh, the tradition of the harp in Croatia is not so long, and the festival would like to choose uh, My studies were fine, nothing special, but I did some extra studies and after studies. Uh, when I finished academy, I went to Italy. And then I started to travel. I uh, visited some festivals and uh, then it just I got this idea, well, festivals, especially harp festivals, are very nice because they are not only for musicians themselves, they are for the big audience, and people really enjoy in the sound of the harp, uh, solo folk concerts or connected to other instruments, uh, singers, other musicians. And uh, I said, that's the best thing I've ever seen. Why not? Why not? Yes, but um, obviously a lot of work involved, right? To, yes. to, to do something like that. And uh, even from the first, we had some wonderful, amazing performers. Um, so, how did you do it? Well, uh, for the first edition, I really didn't know what is uh, festival. Uh, not just what is festival, but what is uh, the job of organizing festival. Especially, I was uh, pregnant. I had my first baby. Uh, then, uh, and my baby was only two months when the first edition was. And I even played. I had a solo concert. So I really didn't know what, what it will look like. I had a big help with my husband. That I still have. Um, he's helping still a lot, very lot uh, about organizing everything and putting it together and giving me support. And but I did it. And for the first time, I invited people that I met somewhere or uh, my professor. There he was a very uh, good uh, Italian artist. Um, Professor, uh, then Ion Roncha, uh, he is uh, president of uh, lots of organizations, and uh, he came from uh, Romania and he's a harpist and very good harpist. Uh, then here was um, Benjamin Crichton, a young and nice harpist uh, that I met in Rio on a festival. Uh, so, uh, first edition was more like uh, friends or people that I know that help me in my studies or something like that. So the people that I can write and say, you know, I have this crazy idea to make a festival in Zagreb. Would you like to come? Would you like to help? And they really help because, uh, you know, um, for big to invite big names, uh, it's always the problem uh, how to find the funds for all of these, uh, how to um, how to pay to the, those people because it's their job to pay around. But they, they gave very friendly prices and they helped a lot. Uh, support, right? Because. Support. Um, I think certainly for myself as a harpist, right? It's this just harp festivals um, are exciting, right? And it's nice to encourage that. And um, also, of course, I think it's very nice to have a harpist organizing one because you know what it's like to perform, perform and so you know what, yeah, you know exactly what um, what's needed to. You know, maybe even if there's not a lot of money involved, there's you know there's that support, there's that. Yeah. There's that spirit because yeah. best, uh, that's different than a concert agency that only you know invites the name, knows yeah. for what they paying, they pay, yeah. and when you collect the money from sponsors and when you know uh, for what you collect, so then uh, this uh, spirit that you want to make something happen, that you want, that people really enjoy. Uh, it's uh, big and that's the most important. The most important is not only to invite 
great performance because after that it was here even Isabel Moretti, Marie Pierre Jamet, that is legend, uh, lots of good harpies uh, from uh, Irena Pashinska from Russia, so from all uh, countries. Uh, and the most important that they sit after the concert, after a beautiful concert, the people enjoy beautiful music, uh, get inspired, and after that they see that they talk, that they uh, share some experience, how uh, what happened in their life, how they climbed so high uh, in a artistic level, and, and that's nice, that's really nice, and from that uh, artists can learn a lot. And I, I was lucky to have uh, big support from uh, Kamar, from uh, Kamar Factory, yes, because uh, I wrote them for the first festival, because here in Croatia we don't have so many good harps and we didn't even have uh, the store before where the harpies could buy harp, where we could buy strings, where we could buy anything connected with the harp. So it was very difficult, you know, to invite so big uh, names and soloists and you cannot, uh, cannot give them any harp to perform. And I wrote to uh, Common Factory and they, well, they, they already saw possibilities that it can be something very nice, very good. And uh, they are supporting me uh, all these three years and I hope in the future too. With the beautiful harps that they send from friends, they send uh, ten uh, concert harps for uh, the festival and it's really means a lot. <laughs> uh, that, well, that's always one of the challenges, right, with yeah. organizing a harp festival is that it can be hard to find harps and it's not something that you can travel with, right? Like if you're yeah. organizing a violin festival, yeah. you People expect can, the violinists uh, to bring their instruments, uh, right? Um, so that's, that's wonderful to have that. And so for that first festival, how long did it take to, you know, you, from the point where you said, I want to do this festival? to the point where, <laughs> where the festival happened, how long was that? So, uh, the idea uh, started in the summer and the festival was next uh, April. Uh, so, not so long, yes, uh, because I really was not sure uh, and I didn't know uh, what kind of job it is. I always said, okay, I will invite, I will find some places and it will be nice. And I really had a uh, big luck uh, because uh, people were very enthusiastic about it wherever I came and all, oh, please, can you help or can you do something? The was the festival. Oh, nice! The people really react very good on, uh, on the idea that uh, I should have festival. And the reaction sometimes was very positive. And uh, there were lots of people who really enjoyed the concert. And uh, the, the real uh, purpose of the festival, you can see now after a few years, uh, because uh, during the festival, uh, in all three years, we have uh, lots of master classes and uh, ensemble uh, workshops and all other things that help uh, young artists to improve. And really now, after a few years, there are lots of harpists in the schools and uh, the interest is very big for harp because uh, that is the idea too, that the festival uh, should involve uh, not only people that like to be harpists for a living, but uh, people who just want to play harp for their fun. And now there are lots of children, lots of grown-ups that are interested in living uh, play. And well, um, traditions, they all say that harpists improve a lot, so it's a big plus of the festival. Sure, well, I mean, just having that provides something inspiration, right? And, and, and just uh, the thought of, oh, harp, maybe I can play it. And I think you were telling me that, for example, when you were young, you were learning, it would have been maybe impossible to get a lever harp so that somebody, uh, again, let's say maybe an adult who did it to 
someone who had maybe professional but wants to play the harp would have had very few options, right? Would have had to spend a lot of money to get a pedal harp, and now maybe that's changing a lot. Right? Yeah, yes, it changed a lot because, uh, well, when I started and most of my colleagues, uh, we started a little bit late and we started on the pedal fire because there was only one harp in the school and we all practiced on the same harp. But we had schedule and, well, it was a different time. Uh, but actually it was not so long time ago, so uh, a lot of things change and now we even have a shop with the harps here in Zagreb and well, that, that helps a lot because it gives opportunity to the young harpists, to their parents uh, to have uh, almost the same start like uh, other instruments and possibilities and then it's up to them how they will <laughs> do things. Wonderful. Um, and so you have the, the fourth edition is coming up then in the spring, I think April. Yes, uh, April. Yes, uh, April 18th. 18th. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And um, any anything you want to share about that? Well, we will have some special guests. We will have some uh, things that will be very new in the harp world, and it will be maybe first uh, presented here in Zagreb. So, but uh, we'll wait a little bit for the next. Sure, sure. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to sit down. Thank you. To me, yeah, that's just really inspiring, that idea that, okay, I have this great idea, and it's not going to happen unless you try it, right? Yes. Unless you try it. And you did, and, and here it is. Right? So look for the look for the fourth edition, um, and uh, thank you again. Thank you.